This right here is the Logitech MX Mechanical Keyboard. It is a low-profile mechanical keyboard, and it is... Ah, it's not great. Um, there's two things I really like about this keyboard and four things that I find really, really annoying. Um, so let's just jump into it and I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so the best thing about this keyboard is how convenient it is. There's a bunch of little conveniences here that make it just as easy to use as all Logitech's other products. Yes, it's a mechanical keyboard, but it's just as easy to use as their normal keyboards, as their mice. Like, it's really easy. So um, in terms of connectivity, you can connect over Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, um, that's really, really nice. Um, you can use up to three Bluetooth pairings um, with F1, F2, and F3 to switch between them. Uh, you can connect with Mac and Windows and kind of just knows how to do the right keyboard layout either way. If you choose to use the unifying receiver, which is their Logi Bolt option, uh, which is the newer connection one, um, that's gonna work. You can connect multiple Logitech devices to one receiver. So if you have a Logitech MX Master 3S, for example, and this keyboard, you can pair them to the same uh, receiver, which is great. There's only one USB input that you're using on your device. So all that is really good. There's also some stuff with like how it goes to sleep and then it will detect when your hands are kind of like moving towards it and wake it up. So before you even like press your first key, it's already woken up. A lot of times with the wireless keyboards, they'll go to sleep and you have to wake them up by pressing a key press and then you have to wait a couple seconds. This one, it just feels like it's always on because it detects when you're coming towards it and it turns itself on before you type something. I also really like the battery life. The battery life is advertised as up to 10 months if you're not using the backlight. It's only about two weeks if you're using the backlight, but 10 months of battery life, even if it misses by like 30%, that's still seven months that you're not gonna have to charge this thing. So my plan is to charge it today, charge it again in the fall, and then I'm good, <laughs> right? Like charge it twice a year and you're totally fine with this keyboard. That I think is really awesome. Um, and is definitely more than I'm used to with wireless mechanical keyboards. So that's what's good about it, but there are more things that I think are kind of bad about it. And so let's talk about those. The number one thing that is bad about this keyboard, in my opinion, is how it feels to type on. And that's kind of the kiss of death for a mechanical keyboard for a lot of people, right? The whole point of this is often to get something that feels and sounds good to type on. And I don't think it sounds good. I don't think it feels good. I'm not even bothered by the sound. It's really the feel. It doesn't feel particularly good. I got the tactile switches. Um, but you can also get it with linears or clickies. I can only speak to the tactiles, but they feel mushy and just not good. But Matt, this is a mechanical keyboard. You can surely swap those out really easily uh, with switches that you think are better, right? So can't you get all the convenience features and then swap out for switches that you like more? Maybe, technically, uh, but no, not really, because this is not a hot swappable keyboard and it's not really meant to be taken apart. So there are some screws on here. You can unscrew it and you can take it apart and you can use like spudgers to like, um, let's just, like tear off the uh, <laughs> the outer shell. But it's really not meant to be taken apart. You have to solder to like remove the old uh, switches and put your own new ones in. So you can do it, but it's a significant amount of work. And I just don't know if the audience for this keyboard is going to be into that sort of project. But okay, okay. Maybe you are okay with the switches. You just want to change the keycaps. And I have changed the keycaps. I've changed the keycaps on here. And they are, you know, I think it makes the keyboard look a little nicer, a little bit more to my personality. But you might notice if you look close that the space bar is not quite matching up with the rest of the keys that I've put on here. And that's because you can't change the space bar. Um, this is, maybe you can, maybe there are some uh, special space bars you can get with the spacing, but the uh, stabilizers underneath the space bar are not standard. So when you buy a new set of keycaps, every key is gonna go on fine, except for the space bar, the space bar and the stabilizers are a little too close together um, for normal uh, key sets, so it's just not going to fit. So you're probably going to have to use the same spacebar that comes with the uh, keyboard just out of the box and just hope that it matches the rest of your set. Then the final issue I have is that you can't connect this wired to your computer. Like, yes, obviously you can plug it in directly over a USB-C cable. Uh, there's a USB-C plug right here. 
and it will power it and it'll charge it up, but it doesn't actually create a wired connection. So it's still using Bluetooth or the unifying receiver, one or the other. I really wish Logitech would let their accessories run in pure wired mode. Um, it's just more convenient in some cases where Bluetooth especially is not available to you. Um, so yeah, that's an annoyance, but it's not the end of the world, but it's a thing that really, it just bugs me about Logitech stuff. So yeah, that is the Logitech MX Mechanical keyboard. It's $150, which isn't the most expensive thing in the world of mechanical keyboards. And I think that if it uh, felt good to type on, it wouldn't be the end of the world. And I think that if you're an office worker who wants just kind of like something mechanical, but not something too loud, just something they can use in the office that's kind of more fun than the normal kind of standard issue keyboards, it's not the, it's not the worst. But if you want to do any sort of customization with it, if you want key presses that feel good, <laughs> um, I really don't think this is up to snuff. And that's really unfortunate because I love Logitech's MX line of products. I love their um, membrane keyboards. The MX line of keyboards, I think, is fantastic. It's my favorite um, non-mechanical keyboard line. The MX Master Mice are fantastic. I love them. I just can't recommend this product, unfortunately. So that's it for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.